all of us have failures in life. And some of these failures are so embarrassing, so scandalous, that we cannot forgive our past mistakes. And these weaknesses and sins of our past continue to haunt us even today. We simply cannot let go. When we cannot forget our past, then we cannot move forward in life. Not forgiving our past will cause us to look at new situations always in a very negative, suspicious perspective. In order to move forward, to share in the resurrected life, we need to forgive our past. But you might ask, how can I forgive myself for all those stupid mistakes that I have made and cause so many people to be hurt, especially my loved ones? St. Peter too, he was unable to forgive his betrayal of Jesus. I'm sure for Peter it was such an embarrassing event which he could never forget. And that is why he kept the guilt to himself. He did not come to believe that Jesus was risen simply because it was too good to be true. How could the master he betrayed had risen from the dead? He was afraid to believe in case it was not true. And so we can see Peter who was really depressed, downhearted. He wanted to drown his sorrows and so he went back to do what he was good at, fishing. And isn't that is what we do as well? When we are down, when we are depressed, we try to look for some things to distract us, things that we enjoy doing. These will not heal us. Just distracting ourselves to do things that we like, it will only suppress the guilt. And that was what happened again to St. Peter. He went fishing and it was a failure. How distressed Peter might, must have felt. Even fishing, his expertise, his professional skill, he caught nothing. Jesus comes to us when we are totally failures in life, when we are hopeless, when we can no longer rely on ourselves. This is where the Lord stepped in. Jesus is the one who comes to lighten up our life by enlightening us. And so how did Jesus help Peter to restore himself? by first and foremost helping him to rediscover his dream. And what was his dream? You will catch the man. That was his dream. That was a dream that Jesus had for him. And Jesus precisely used this incident to go back to Peter and said, you are still not out of job. The job that I have given to you, the mission that I entrusted to you, it is still there. But Peter was not able to see. Because in Peter, he was too sad. When you are sad, when you are in sorrow, you cannot see things clearly. Jesus he went back to Peter and helped him to go back to his past. To what he was afraid to confront. 
if you don't confront the demons in your life, the demons will continue to possess you. You must face the demons. What are your demons? What was Peter's demon? The shamed. Shame. Shame of betraying the Lord Jesus. And he's so beautiful again. The Lord brought Peter to the place where there was a charcoal fire. Immediately, Peter remembered the charcoal fire when he denied the Lord. So it was as if Jesus was bringing him back to his past. Let us face your demon. Do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed. I will heal you. And this is what we need to do. To be healed, we need to face our broken past. Jesus is such a patient person. Jesus knew that for Peter to begin a new life, he needed time to process his feelings, his pain. That is why to receive the forgiveness from God is not just go for confession and one go, your sins are forgiven. True. No doubt, your sins are forgiven. But you have not forgiven yourself. That is the real problem. That is why the Lord Jesus led Peter slowly to go through his past, to embrace his past, to get in touch with his past, and so find healing. Forgiveness, my dear brothers and sisters, is a process. We need to give time for people to let go. It's not something that can be forced. Three times Peter denied the Lord. Now three times the Lord will give Peter the opportunity to reaffirm his love. And St. Peter was clear this time, no more, no more the arrogant Peter. You know I loved you, but my love is limited. That is what Peter is saying. And when Jesus knew that Peter was healed, he was no more overconfident of himself. He was no more relying on himself anymore, but on the love of our Lord. Then Jesus said to Peter, now it's time for you to die for me, to go where you don't want to go. Because Jesus knew that this time, Peter would truly die for him, unlike the first. Because Peter now, he knew himself. He was no more afraid. He was liberated. My dear brothers and sisters, have you been liberated of your past? Or do you still cling on to your past? If that were so, you are still in your tomb. So come out of your tomb. Expose your wounds to the Lord. The Lord will heal them. And the Lord will make you a new person. And you will have the liberation, the freedom to announce Jesus. He is the Lord of my life. 